18.7, 8 rebounds, 8 assists. That's Russell Westbrook. Today on this video, we're going to be talking about what's going on, well, what's going wrong with the Los Angeles Lakers and Russell Westbrook run. Before we do that, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share my videos. I appreciate it. Salute to all of my supporters out there in the YouTube fam. Let's get it. It's time to tell the truth. It's time to tell the truth about Russell Westbrook's career. Although he's a great athlete, I think he's box office. Must see TV. So especially in his prime, I'm not going to say now. But I think the thing is, I think we have gave Russell Westbrook a big pass because of his, um, his competitive nature. The narrative that he plays hard, which I don't completely believe because he only play hard on one side of the ball. He only play hard when he got the ball in his hand. So I can't give him a full credit as a competitive player. He is no doubt one battle hall of fame. If you look at his resume, no doubt. He's a top 75 greatest player ever. But I have I feel always had issues with the way he controlled the game. He has the ball in his hands instead of Milk, milking the shot clock and making sure you're able to get your team a good shot or better yet I believe in ball moving why not move the ball you see what I'm saying it's not about just getting an assist it's all about making the right play and I feel like that's always been a Russell Westbrook weakness and I'm seeing him on the Lakers it's getting exposed all the stuff he's been getting away with is finally been put out there in front of the world and I remember, I've been saying this for the last two years. A lot of people been getting on me about this. I'm a Russell Westbrook hater. I'm hard on Russell Westbrook. But you the same catch. Now all, everybody has changed their whole opinion on me. Now everybody see what I was saying. All I was trying to get y'all to see is, yes, he's a great athlete. But my problem has always been Russell Westbrook. He doesn't play winning basketball. And I think he has what he he. He really has what it takes, but I think he only focuses on trying to prove that he's a great player. He's not trying to prove that his team is great all the time. And a lot of people remember, a lot of people followed Kevin Durant for leaving. And I had no problem with Kevin Durant leaving, but I didn't like where Kevin Durant went. Cause I feel like Kevin Durant, great as he is, he didn't have to go play with Golden State. I understand he wanted to win the championship. And he's a grown man. He can make his own decisions. But um, my thing is this, when you're a great player, like Kevin Durant, you can play with pretty much anybody. If you look at Kevin Durant, this guy can play with anybody. You can put him in any system, with anybody he can play with. And um, it's now come to a point where you gotta sit there and think, where can Russell Westbrook like, what's the best case scenario for this cat going forward? I already put it out there two years ago. I think as his um, athleticism declines and his play style is going to be best as a six-man role on a championship contending team. Now, that might win over y'all head. A six-man role on a championship contending team. I'm not saying he can't get get on the OKC Thunder and be a six man. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying on a championship level team, which he supposed to be on right now. I know they have a lot of injuries, but um, in reality, this team has Avery Bradley. They got um, THT. They got, they got um, me personally, I like Luke Monk starting with the team. So I would start with Luke Monk, Avery Bradley, see how that, that defense, Floor space for LeBron and AD, they can hit shots and have LeBron, uh, Russell Westbrook come off the bench and he can give you all the energy. You know what I'm saying? And he's able to go out there and attack how he wants to and he can be him. That's the only way I think he can actually be Russ and it'll actually work. If he can't be Russ, you're not going to get much out of him. For $44 million, man, it's going to be good luck paying that dude. Um, paying that dude and getting and getting what you're paying for. You're not gonna get your um your money worth in reality, bro. Good luck trading the dude somewhere. I don't think he you gonna be able to trade the cat. You know, and it, it's a sad situation because you know, I got respect for Russell Westbrook. 
it's all about basketball. It's not personal, but um, I, I think everybody, most people can agree. Now, that the dude has deficiencies that I don't think anybody can fix. A lot of people feel like, oh, okay, if you get on with LeBron James, he'll change. Well, no, that's not always going to be the case. So, um, you know, now we're looking at this situation, I think what they're going to have to do is uh, the Lakers play better as a ball movement team. If they move the ball, if you realize something, when they move the ball, the defense steps up. Everybody play hard. Like, like um, Austin Reeves, he cancel out that ball. And so it's going to be very interesting to see um, how they um, like play going forward with AD coming back, Kendrick Nunn coming back, me personally. I would, if, if the Lakers want to want to um, have a chance to win a championship, they're going to have to bring Russ out of the bench. There are my thoughts. Y'all let me know what y'all thoughts are. Um, this is my first video, so um, just let me know in the comment section. And salute.